Hey guys, CC here with a uh, experimental episode today. You may notice that this has been uploaded on Wednesday. I want to try a new series I thought of, Atari Arcade basically, where every other Wednesday I could play an Atari game from this Activision Classics collection for PlayStation 1. Now I won't be able to play every single game in this because it does require multiplayer and I don't think I'll be able to get anybody to play old Arc Atari arcade games with me. Well, they're not arcade games, but either way. I'm not going to go in any kind of particular alphabetical order because, quite frankly, I don't know how to play them all, and I would have to source the manuals for the games I don't know how to play, so I'll do that in time. But today we're going to play through Barnstorming, a relatively simple game with a lot of challenge. So we are going to go in game one, and then game two, and game three, and game four. And I'm going to try to be all four game modes. Hopefully. These older games can be extremely difficult at times. So the basic premise of um, Barnstormer is effectively you have to go through each barn and avoid getting hit and yeah, like that. And, uh, what is it? Mate, you have to get the lowest possible time. So, have you guys ever played any Atari games before? Or do you know anyone that has? Do you even like Atari games, for that matter? Please, uh, put it down in the comments if you, uh, care to answer. Oh, jeez. More to go. Does that count? Yes, it does. Good. One more. Come on. Still not yet. There we go. 52 seconds. That's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, the menu's a little clunky, but it's an old PS1 game. It's nothing I wouldn't expect. Between uh, switching out to the different games, I will just cut that part out so that you guys don't have to deal with the loading time. So, just letting you know. Okay, here we are. Game number two. According to the uh, list, it's a uh, crop duster level. Meaning, I'm going to assume it's difficult, but I've got three barns in a row, so that, that's something. These old, these old Atari games, they don't have much going, but they do have an addictive gameplay loop if they're well made. Which, I mean, honestly, that's better than some mobile games nowadays. They definitely offer more challenge in a mobile game without uh, begging you for more money. Now if I can get good at the games, that would be the impressive part. This isn't like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. This is a lot more difficult than classic Sonic. At least the higher levels. I knew it. I knew one was coming. I'm thinking eventually if this series does take off, I'm going to try and make a uh, special pixel art animation intro for this, so I can, uh, you know, just add a bit of extra personality. I hope you guys do enjoy this kind of video, though. I figure our old Atari games aren't something that's seen very often for, uh, Let's Play channels. It's more of a niche retro type thing that you see de on dedicated channels, not to a generalized Let's Play channel. So I figure maybe I could break some new ground this way. Okay, game three, Stunt Pilot. Game two was pretty easy, all things considered. There we go, and fly time. Oh, okay. Now I have heard that I think the higher difficulties have randomly generated levels. I don't know entirely if that's true or not, but if it is, I mean, 
that could mean I get a really easy layout or a really hard one. And I wouldn't have any clue which one I'm getting. Oh, come on, that should have counted. I did, do know, apparently, back when this game was new, if you uh, beat like certain time scores and stuff, you could uh, get a badge. Which I think is pretty neat. That's something that you're not going to see nowadays. I guess that's kind of like a ancient way of doing um, achievements, when you think about it. I say ancient if that's been like forever ago, but it hasn't in the grand scheme of things, but in terms of technology, that's a really, really old way of doing achievements. And I can't tell if this is more difficult or if me talking has made things harder on me. I do like the pixel art for this game, though. For the Atari, this is really impressive. Okay, that was game three. Let's do game four. Game four, Flying Ace. I'm going to assume this is the hardest mode. Oh, it's the last mode. It should be the hardest. I'd hope it'd be hard. 25 to go, and... I am not missing that. I'm just going to get terrible time. It's a really nice sunset. As far as 8-bit sunsets go, that's pretty nice sunset, all things considered. Oh, no, you don't. How did I miss that? That is a kind of impressive. I do notice that the little pilot guys, um, what is that called? I guess scarf would be the right term. Is uh, flapping in the air, which is okay. I should count it. A scarf is flapping in the air, which is that's a nice attention to detail for this age of game. Also, a nice attention to detail that you can hear the noise when you fly by something really close. Okay. This plane should have crashed a long time ago. Try faking me out. Ha, I knew it. Game was pretending to be nice to me. But then all of a sudden, wham, windmill. Not that I need that to run into anything with. Two, come on, I knew it. This game's sneaky. It may be old, but don't let that fool you. It's got some tricks up its sleeve. Like pulling windmills out of nowhere. This is a very large farm when you think about it. Well, either way, that's uh, Barnstormer, made by Activision for the Atari 2600. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, first episode of Atar Atari Arcade. Let me know if you guys like it and uh, if you have any fond experiences on the Atari 2600 or with the games for it anyways. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and remember, Jesus loves you.